What is going on guys? My name is Robin Beck and I'm from Roman Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Kobayashi's Dragon Made a Second Season, Episode 2, Hot Guy Kobayashi, in many senses. A couple things before we jump into this episode. One, if I look tired, I just finished doing a very long shift. I did a double shift yesterday. Um, did a shift in the morning, went home, slept, and immediately woke up and went to my shift the very same day. So, and then I just recently got off, went home, went to bed. So I just recently woke. I had to go back to work later on. Uh, so I have been very busy. Thankfully, by the end of this week, I'll be all done. And also, I got a brand new computer. Finally came in. Um, something I've been working on. And I just need to eventually start transferring some files over. But then I should be able to stream at a much higher um, frequency. Because this is a very good computer that I've been saving some money on. Um... And since I don't really spend a lot of money since I work all the time, uh, it was a little bit treat to myself that I haven't done in quite a long time. Uh, so streaming will probably be a lot, a lot, actually it will be not probably, it will be a lot better. Hopefully the games that I like I can actually stream at a very consistent high level without any lag, um, considering my old, my computer's five years old and the, the technology is mostly outdated outside of a couple parts that are still actually good to this day um most of the parts are outdated thankfully with this brand new one all the parts are basically up to par i think the only thing i'm missing is a 3080 but i got a 3070 for a so i'll take it um also last episode a couple people in the comment section uh pointed out that she wasn't fuda i've never read the manga Never touched the manga. The only one I read a little bit of was, of was the Elma uh, side, so, uh, side, and that's about it. I never touched the original series. I don't know anything about it. I don't know any of the other characters. I don't know anything about Alula besides it was a small girl with giant, giant pedonkers. That's all I knew. Um, so, yeah, I apologize for not knowing something in advance um, or just assuming that she was immediately a guy. I thought she just grew a penis. I don't know because she looked exactly the same. I didn't see any physical changes outside of that. I didn't see the dong. Glad I didn't see the dong. But everything just seemed about her the same. But So that's why I just assumed I didn't see any physical changes outside of it. So, don't shoot me. Sorry I don't magically know everything. I'm sorry I'm not this perfect person who knows everything about everything I'm watching because I my mind is also doing thinking about other things not just about every possibility. Sorry, I'm only human. And if you still consider to uh, like bring up messages, you can bring up things. Just don't be a dick about it. You know who you are. There's one person in particular. Um, I deleted the message because he he was just a dick. So. If you don't want to watch the video, you know, there's plenty of other reactors. I do this for fun. I've only done this for fun. This is a pure hobby to me. If you don't want to watch my videos, it's perfectly fine, but don't comment on my videos. But anyways, I'm ready to jump into this episode reaction. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm currently, like, I want to maintain the schedule and constantly upload videos, at least for the series, I wouldn't have uploaded today um, because I'm exa exhausted. Thankfully, I have some coffee, but... I'm ready to jump into this episode. I've been rambling on for too long, so without further ado, let's jump in to the second episode of Kobayashi Dragon Maid. Starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Are we gonna get a, yep, a Lulu back? Sorry. Oh, it's a little bit loud. They're gonna. We're gonna see why. All right. So we are going to get. Um, we're going to get the backstory as to what caused. Ilulu to have such a, uh, such a deep hatred. I mean, I can understand it just from the very, the beginning, just from what they showed. It makes a little bit of sense. 
I mean, think about it. The parents were killed by humans, so fair enough. But then, of course, it's going to be going on to the whole understanding. It's like, well, not all humans are the same. Hey, this is a special case. Here's Kobayashi. Or Mr. Kobayashi now. I had to mute the I had to mute the sound just in case. I didn't notice that last time um, that you saw the the dragon forms. I wonder if this is going to be a lot of um, backstories, which I'm perfect. I'm, I'm actually really happy with. I would love to hear the backstories more on Fafnir, Elma. Can Kana for a little bit? I think Kana, I'm fine with exactly how she is. I wonder if Lulu's going to grow very fond of Miss Kobayashi later on. Now we're going to see if, uh, Le uh, if uh, Toro is... Uh, Oh no, is she going to get excited? She's going to get excited. Kiss! <laughs> <laughs> All the shippers are like, Woo, baby, that's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> no, you're just showing the true nature of a someone who has a dick. Alulu, let me tell you something about guys. We have two brains. One's in our head, the other is in a different head. That's just how us guys are. Human guys. I don't know. Maybe there's some guys in the animal kingdom too. There's some males in the animal kingdom too that are like that too. I don't know. But we have two heads. To, and, and two brains as well. Sometimes one just overtakes the other. Alright. Don't. Don't lust it. Or is she com or is Kobayashi completely self conscious about a all physical touch right now? Oh, okay, so she doesn't want to risk it. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm almost positive Toto is Kobayashi sexual, so it doesn't matter what she has. Oh god, Kana. Oh no. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kobayashi. Is it? Is it? Is she? It, 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 it's it's never going. It's never gonna. End. Yeah, but she. Uh, you can tell Tora's already starting to realize like why. Okay, but why though? So the magic's wearing off. No, there's got to be something more about this whole situation. There's going to be more. So I wonder if Lulu joined the Chaos Faction after. Which sounds like it would make sense. But she's going to... Tora's going to realize something. Is that some sake? Yeah, but Kobayashi's gonna spill the beans out. You know how she is when she's drunk. And I think Kotora knows this, that's why. Did she put in an aphrodisiac? 
I, I'm... I will, I will push this button. Because <laughs> 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 she's drunk. Because she's drunk. Or no, well, she had some alcohol in her, but... <laughs> We were this close to per we were this close. Three plus three equals female. Math has been teaching me wrong this entire time. Oh, that's right. I haven't seen her in what? She's only been what in a couple episodes the entire time. Backstory? No. Ooh. This is a new adversary. Oh, part of the Harmony faction. Oh, and is Toru going to save the day? Or not Toru, sorry, Kobayashi. I know why I said Toru. <laughs> Different. Yeah. <laughs> and the Harmony faction is fine with I've seen something similar to that, but it's almost... Hmm. Who knew very loud noises in a plastic device was a dragon's weakness? Alright, so my one hope is that Alulu doesn't become like this love triangle thing, because I personally wouldn't really care for that myself. Um, I would rather her just be a normal character. In case that is the case, because I remember seeing in the intro, like, she was leaning on her, but I'm hoping it was just as a friendly matter. I mean, I won't be, like, like it's not going to, like, a make or break deal if that is that turns out to be the case, but I just personally hope that it doesn't come to that. Start to get conflicted a little bit.
Well, I wonder if they were killed. See, this is touching. This is a nice... It's a nice, touching, heart-to-heart -heart moment. I'm, I like this. This I like. I like. Damn Kobayashi. Wait a second, aren't you part of the Harmony? Exactly. <laughs> so... How foolish. Yeah, I don't think you're really part of the Harmony faction. You're just a... Now you're fucked up, you hit Kobayashi, you're dead. <laughs> Give us a good fight scene. <laughs> You're a cup, Ayashi. I shall kill you. <laughs> we'll need to call for you. You can't call if you're dead. Yeah, sorry. Lady Elm is actually they're on good terms right now. Are we actually gonna see them just? She fucking killed him. Oh, okay, never mind. Thank you. Thanks for clearing that up. Just ripped off his fucking horn. Yeah, remember, Toru is a a bit of a badass. He's very, very uh. Hey yo, girl, what that tongue do? <laughs> it's, it's, it's... Oh, I like the style. It almost reminds me of the Princess Principal um, ending style. That's very simple. Uh, that's a very common Japanese salary man, salary worker, I guess. I uh, also connection in that sense. I do hope Alulu is still a little bit cautious and not just completely. Um, just as a uh, writing perspective. Um, I understand why if it's due to time constraints, but I, I would like if Alulu from a writing character's um, set is a little bit more cautious. Maybe not with Kobayashi, but with humans in general. You got her because me. <laughs> Go, <laughs> Toru in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. El Nino Miki.
Oh no, is she actually going to? Oh boy. How do you get how how I feel like you shouldn't wipe with claws. That would be a bad idea. <laughs> we're gonna see I wonder if we're gonna see Kana go to school again. An episode where she goes to school or, or she's at school. Saito Chesto. I mean, as a human. So. Oh, that's gross. And if you're in the ass, it's what's up. <laughs> I think Kobayashi. Of course it is. Well, no. <laughs> Is she actually going to have those hands the entire time? Yeah, you're not wrong. Jesus. Wait, is her aunt actually going to be like that for the rest of the series? Uh, it's going to be hilarious if that's the case. <laughs> her mental image. I don't think you can pass. I think that's going to be her permanent hands. So she's just been sitting there for the la for a while. Is she going to be a office worker too? I mean, you kind of, yeah. I agree, you Kana. It's sad when Kana, the literal child of the group, is is me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Kobayashi. All right, that was, this is a fun episode. 
I'm, okay, I'm not expecting like the greatest character writing, the ga- uh, the greatest plot convenience or devices or uh, story progression. I have wishes, of course, um, but if it doesn't hit it, I'm perfectly fine with that. Hold on, I just want to see a Lulu's. Oh yeah. That- okay, so she does have ants. Okay, so maybe it wasn't. It was a little bit different. Alright, are we going to get an ending? Really quickly, though. Oh, no. We're going to get a con and, uh... It's she's going to be wearing a maid? That was good. All right, so it went on to the next one. It went on to these, uh, um, yeah. Okay. That was good. That was good. That was a good video. All right, uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. What did you guys uh, think of this episode? It was, it was a good episode. I don't have, I don't have much problems with that whatsoever. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, I know there's a couple of shows I need to watch. I know Jahi I don't even know if they aired. I have, I honestly have no idea. Um, and I'll check that out later. Uh, but from from the meantime, I'm just gonna go see what uh, I, I need to get back on track with a more <laughs> better uh, work schedule. Um, this is only a one time thing. Uh, thankfully, after this, I shouldn't have to do what exactly what I'm doing ever again. Um, because we, our our company's getting rid of it. So hopefully, my work schedule will balance out. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below, and hopefully next video you see me will either be a, stream, a test stream, or a new video of me watching a series that I haven't touched yet. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.